Welcome back. I'm Cyber Sandy, your guide to staying safe online. What you just saw was the beginning of a botnet. But what exactly is that? Let's find out. Hi, Isabel. Hi, Sandy. So we know that a botnet is a network of devices controlled by a cyber criminal. How does it actually work? So a botnet is actually made up of many devices or bots that have been infected by malware. To gain control of these devices, cyber criminals typically exploit vulnerabilities or bugs in the software, or even poor cyber hygiene. So like not changing the default credentials on the device? Exactly. Cyber criminals also use phishing or social engineering tactics to trick users into downloading malware, allowing them to take control of their devices remotely. And this can happen to any device, like your mobile phone, Wi-Fi router, laptop. Yes. So any compromised internet-connected device can become a bot in a botnet. Why do you think cyber criminals use botnets? Well, since botnets can be made up of millions of devices, cyber criminals can tap on their increased processing power to carry out larger scale attacks than they would have been able to do on their own. For example, distributed denial of service attacks. You may have heard of this. It's when cyber criminals flood devices, services, or networks with fake traffic, which makes them inaccessible to other users. Yes, but that's not all. Cyber criminals also use botnets to carry out other malicious activities like spam campaigns and scams. They may also exploit compromised devices to access sensitive information like your passwords and browsing activities. What steps can people take to better protect themselves? Having good cyber hygiene is the key here. Some devices may come with weak default usernames and passwords like admin or password. Users should remember to always change these default credentials on newly deployed devices. And if you need a refresher, that's upper and lowercase letters, numbers and special symbols for strong passwords. Devices with outdated firmware can also have known security vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit. Remember to enable automatic updates on your devices if available. That way, you won't miss out on any important patches or bug fixes for your devices. And for routers specifically, you should also disable remote management access in your settings to prevent unauthorized users from controlling your device from outside the network. Oh, and if you suspect your device has been compromised, like if your device shows signs of strange behavior or you notice a decrease in performance, you can actually do a factory reset on your device which should get rid of any unauthorized changes in your settings. Doing this erases any previous settings so after the factory reset, you will need to secure your router with new credentials. Thanks for joining us today, Isabel, and giving us that really helpful explanation of what botnets are and how they can affect us. It was my pleasure. Some cyber threats may seem scary, but that's why it's so important to practice good cyber hygiene. This way, we can effectively protect our devices and ourselves. And that's all we have today. Stay safe, everyone, and see you in the next episode.